The Tesla Cybertruck has attracted yet another insane third-party modification, this time from Space Campers, which created a wedge-style camper ideal for the great outdoors. Welcome to Tech Heaven, and in this video we're taking a look at everything you need to know about the new crazy camping mod upgrade for Tesla Cybertruck. Built from aerospace-grade composites, Space Campers designed the wedge to last a lifetime, complete with all of the necessary accessories for a weekend in the wilderness. The new Space Campers mod integrates with the Cybertruck to provide full access to the pickup's bed without sacrificing any aerodynamic benefits of the vehicle's sleek design. It has outlets, dimmable lights, an induction cooktop, a portable cooler and a water heater, among other features, and is compatible with the Cybertruck's battery pack. It even includes a Murphy-style bed, which not only saves space, but also allows owners to tuck themselves in for a good night's sleep. It won't be your typical night in the tent, for sure. The bed is large enough for two people, and it tucks away to provide enough standing room, and it even has detachable hinges to function as an exterior table. Extensions can be installed to create benches or work surfaces. And the built-in awning protects the wedge from inclement weather while leaving it an open space to admire nature. Pull up wherever you want and set up camp in minutes. Air-powered actuators use the Cybertruck's onboard compressor to easily open and retract the camper with the flip of a switch. It's ready when you are, whether it's for a trip down the coast or a lunchtime siesta. According to a press release for the product, the Space Camper's wedge designed for the Cybertruck will also allow for limitless personalization with plug-and-play accessory kits that can be installed at any point with standard household tools. If something goes wrong, replacement parts will be available online for simple repairs. It's not the first Cybertruck camping mod on the market. The Cyberlander and Lockheed Basecamp were both released shortly after the Tesla pickup was unveiled in late 2019. According to Tesla, the Space Camper Wedge for the Cybertruck will be available when the pickup is released early next year. Spacecampers.com is already accepting pre-orders, with early reservations ensuring priority fulfillment. The pre-sale price is currently listed at $24,000 before upgrades, which are currently limited to stainless steel armor for durability and heat shielding. When it debuted last month, the Cyberlander, an ambitious ultra-high-tech, ultra-compact premium camper for the Tesla Cybertruck, drew a lot of attention and even some acclaim. The Cyberlander seemed like the ideal companion for the Tesla Cybertruck, promising a full camper experience in an incredibly compact and appealing package. After all, it takes a hyper-futuristic camper to match a cyberpunk pickup truck that appears to be from the future. It didn't take long for the Cyberlander's hype to translate into potential sales. The transforming pop-up camper did come at a premium price of around $50,000 per unit, but for some Cybertruck reservation holders, the cost was well worth it. The Cyberlander received $50 million in pre-orders just days after its debut, and $60 million a few days later. Given the cost of the camper, that equates to approximately 1,350 Cybertruck reservations. However, as exciting as the Cyberlander is, the road to actually producing the transforming camper is difficult. The company behind Cyberlander is Streamit, a software company that specializes in AI-enhanced video analytics. Streamit has developed software products that can collect and analyze video data in real time over the years. The company has some hardware experience, but only with components such as computer modules. Never before has it attempted a product as complex as the Cyberlander. This has led to some skepticism about the Cyberlander, which promises to provide a sink, kitchen, living area and bathroom with shower in a camper that fits on the Cybertruck's 6.5-foot bed. While many of the Cyberlander's features, such as auto-dimming windows and floor heaters, rely on Streamit's software prowess, some critics have expressed concerns that the camper is too complex or too ambitious to become a viable product. Streamit founder and chief analytics officer Bill French, who has a Cybertruck reservation himself, explained to Tesla Rati that while the task of producing the Cyberlander is indeed complex, he believes Streamit has a good chance of pulling it off. This is due to the fact that campers, even those as ambitious as the Cyberlander, are nowhere near as complex as an entire electric vehicle. We're not constructing the truck, we're working on a truck addition. Add-ins are classified differently, it's a more constrained, smaller environment. We only have to be concerned about what's in the truck. That's not to say it's not complicated, it's a sophisticated add-on, but it's not as complex as the truck. 
By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic… Lance King, CEO of Streamit and Tesla Model 3 Performance, notes that this is what will set Cyberlander apart from other ambitious projects that have fizzled or worse, unraveled. Over the last year, the electric vehicle sector has seen such events, with some companies that were once considered darlings of the sustainability segment plummeting in a dramatic and unexpected manner. According to King, the best thing Cyberlander could do is be honest about what it can already do and where it needs help. We're trying to be honest and open about where we are at rather than pretending we have more than we do. That's an excellent starting point. We're also honest enough to admit that we don't have deep expertise in certain areas, so we're collaborating with others who do. As a result, we've collaborated with designers, engineers and even Monroe and Associates to establish the factory. And we're making great strides with them, King explained. Monroe and Associates, led by automotive veteran Sandy Monroe, has emerged as one of the most trusted voices in the EV sector. Monroe and his team have used their expertise in lean design and engineering to help companies such as Tesla optimize products such as the Model 3 and Model Y. When it contacted Monroe's team, it decided to take a more proactive approach. Instead of making mistakes and having Monroe analyze how to address and solve them, the software company hopes to get the automotive veteran's approval even before the Cyberlander is built. This is especially noteworthy given that Monroe's team has been tapped to help design not only the Cyberlander but also its factory. Even with Monroe and Associates' assistance, establishing a factory for a camper as complex as the Cyberlander is no easy task. Previously, King and French stated that they would like to build a factory near Gigafactory, Texas. Customers of Cybertruck could have their campers installed immediately after receiving their all-electric pickup truck. However, according to the Streamit CEO, such a location has not been found, and the company is looking for locations within 15 to 40 minutes of Gigafactory, Texas. The company has also decided not to build a factory for the camper, instead opting for an existing site that could house a manufacturing facility. Part of this is due to the Cybertruck's aggressive timetable, which indicates that the first vehicles could leave Gigafactory, Texas by the end of the year. With this in mind, Streamit would need to not only work hard, but also raise a significant amount of funding in order to make Cyberlander a reality. King provided an estimate for the construction of the Cyberlander's production facility, as well as funding options that Streamit is currently investigating. We estimated at around $1 million to reach market potential over the next year or two, with the intent to raise. We're currently looking into a variety of financial options, including debt, traditional equity, private equity and SPACs. So we're taking a look at all four of them. And they each have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. As a result, we're weighing our options, he explained. Because Cyberlander is such a unique product, the Streamit CEO later explained that it would not be built by a manufacturing partner. Instead, the company intends to create a solid manufacturing system for the futuristic camper on its own. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Would you buy a Cybertruck? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.